Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, so I'm gonna go over something quite specific in budgeting, quite advanced, but really worth learning. If you can understand the concepts and the techniques that I go through here, you are gonna be in a very good spot around you know, understanding Power BI, how DAX works, and how you can combine lots of different things to get really, really great insights. Now, this is a, this is from a, a workshop, a free workshop that I put on from the uh, for the Enterprise DNA webinar series uh, around advanced budgeting. I'll leave a link below to the entire workshop. Certainly review it if you are working on anything to do with budgeting or forecasting or benchmarking because I go through a whole range of different techniques. But what I want to focus on here is just one specific technique to actually achieve this table. Now, it looks relatively simple, right? Uh, looks like, you know, you could just throw this together um, just like that, but there's a little bit to it. There's a little bit to it. So I'm going to open it up and drill into it. So what we're trying to do here is we are trying to uh, evaluate our product uh, sales versus our product budgets, right? But there's a number of nuances of how we create this number because of the way that our model is structured. Now, if we have these two results, well, then we can jump to our actuals to, to budgets and then we can go difference to budgets, which obviously is really good insight. And you can um, throw some conditional formatting over that and that really showcases, you know, um, you know what is actually happening underneath the, 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 the overall numbers, right? Because it's breaking it down for us and showcasing in an effective way. Now, the really interesting thing to note with this specific examples if I jump to the model here you'll see that the date table right this date table it actually doesn't uh, have any relationship this particular date table doesn't have any relationship to our budgets so what we need to do is within formula if we wanted to and uh, if we wanted to be able to dynamically filter our budgets right dynamically filter our budgets so that they only show the actual budget across a specific time frame which is exactly what we need here because if you look if I change these if I change the uh, the date time frame everything in the report changes but also this product budget changes too now if there's no relationship to date which is where this particular field it comes from well then the product budgets is not going to change at all it's just going to stay the entire amount it's going to stay the full amount because there's no filtering taking place now this is showcased here I'll showcase this in an example over here uh, and and then I'm going to show you how to solve it which is which is obviously the key right and so so we can change to any time frame and to any selection of products I'll leave it all open for now now th this is the problem right so I've created this budget allocation uh, formula so this this does uh, there's a whole raft of different things they go over exactly how I created it in the um, uh, during the full workshop so I won't cover it here but um, you know it looks like there's a little bit to this but you know once you, you hear me step through it step I uh, go step step by step through it you know you I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident um, you would uh, be able to get your head around it but anyway, the, the, key, the key thing I want to showcase is if you look at this number, it doesn't change for the data selection we're making, even though the total sales is, is, is changing, right? And so somehow through formula, we need to be able to uh, adjust this for the date, okay? Now, I'll show you the result that works, okay? So I've created a function that works. I'll bring it into the table. I'll make sure it sits in behind here. So let's have a look at what this is actually doing. So if we now change the time frame, look at this budget number. This actually changes. So this actually changes for the correct time frame, even though, so I'm moving the dates here, I'm moving the date time frame. I can even select, say, some products here, etc., etc. And so that's going to adjust it as well. Um, it's, well that's just going to narrow it down, really, isn't it? It's just going to narrow it down, um, narrow down the selection. Um, but uh, it, it changes with the date selection. So that's the key thing, right? Now, um, remember, remember that there is no relationship. So, so look, the only relationship um, that uh, is this the date table flows down to is actually the sales, right? So it's so it only flows down to um, sales which are happening in real time. So that's the only one it's going to filter, and that's why when we come to the example, well, you know, it's going to filter total sales because that's where the total sales formula comes from. But it's not going to filter anything that is getting calculated across this table, which is the um, product budgets. Now, uh, I I've gone through in a um, in other videos and certainly in the um, in the uh, in the full workshop how I created this table and that's key thing to not, to learn so certainly review that but this is basically just our budgeting table and so uh, what I need to do calculations for our budgets were happening over that table with no relationship to the date table so to solve this problem okay to solve this problem this is how we do it this is how we do it we can within a formula recreate 
recreate a connection via the date. Now, what I've done is I've, um, so let's have a look at the summings first. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go and work out what our budgets are per day. So this is what bud the budget allocation formula does, um, but we're gonna put it inside a virtual table here, okay? So this is a really cool concept, virtual tables. Certainly um, type that into, um, you know, to type that into YouTube search and you'll see some, some good videos from me on that. Um, but virtual tables, what they enable you to do is structure a table virtually and then within that table you can actually then go and create some sort of logic right in this case i'm just going to, we're going to sum x we're going to sum we're going to iterate through every single day and the budget for every single day and then we're going to count up the budget now because we have put this virtual table within uh, within this particular context and the data is involved in it well we can then use all selected which in itself is a relatively com complicated formula but in this case if you think about just whatever is selected right so think about whatever is filtered well um, by utilizing all selected it is going to then filter this particular virtual table by whatever filter is coming from dates so that's how we can manufacture a relationship based on um, based on a, um, a filter uh, that doesn't have a physical relationship to, to a particular table. So pretty amazing, right? And then so now we can have this really effective insight that actually then showcases you know, um, uh, the correct time range um, to what we are actually getting from our actual um, actual results. And so then when you tie it all into your entire report, I'll just jump back to the entire report, it then becomes a really effective insight, right? Because then you can branch out even more. And that's, I mean, measure branching just really comes into its own from here. So you can work out the difference between sales and budgets, and then you've got actual to budgets, and then you've got difference. In it. So, you know, you can even then create a, um, you know, visualizations just out of these, these insights, which are like the fourth branch of whatever you're doing. So really, really effective insight, right? So what I would recommend, um, you know, there's a little bit to that, and look, I didn't cover everything, I know, um, but you know, these these tutorials are about you know really a deep dive into specific things, and and really, you know, the two key things in this one were were being able to the virtual tables, and then being able to you know utilize a function like all selected within calculate to actually um, you know adjust that to filter it virtually. So so effective. I mean, so so effective from a um, you know a modeling and uh, modeling and report development, um, advanced development. Um, um, yeah, uh, inside. So, okay, so what I'll do, I'll wrap it up. I've gone on a little bit there, but, um, uh, but certainly review the entire workshop because I go through step by step how to build it all up and, 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 and this particular insight as well. And so when you start matching them all together, you know, it becomes a really effective dashboard that really, you know, and this is quite advanced, it really starts producing really, really good insight. So I'll leave the link in the description. Also, if you actually want to have a play around with this, certainly go to the showcase page, the Enterprise DNA showcase page. You can, you know, you can have a look at this and actually play around with this particular um, demo advanced budgeting. There's many others you can also check out. Um, you know, all the different various ways that um, you can develop. You know, it's really actually to um, uh, to you know give you some, some some ideas around how you can do it yourself. Um, and also, you know, you can also um, you can gain access to all of these as well. Um, if all you do is, is upgrade to an enterprise DNA membership. So, you know, if you want to find a bit more out a bit more about membership, certainly um, pop on to the end enterprise DNA website you know obviously you get um, you know, access to all of these which is you know um, pretty substantial uh, in itself but you know obviously a lot of training and uh, and some support options there too okay all the best uh, with this one hopefully you can um, you know you can get your head around to how it all works and how it all fits together there's just there's so many applications so um, you know if you can you're going to do uh, be doing very well with Power BI all the best. Um, if you like the content, um, really appreciate a like on the video. It would be um, really awesome if you could do that. Okay, take care. Speak to you soon.